is Tamara Weeks, and this is Miss Micah. Say hello. Hello. Can you believe she told me this morning she didn't want to get on camera? <laughs> Are you okay with being on camera now? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. She sees all the bright lights, and she changed her mind. Micah's bus has just arrived, so I'm going to finish my story in just a second. All right, you ready to get on bus? Okay, here we are again to tell you what we're actually going to talk about, and that is Micah. And this video is a little bit broken up because the bus came super early. It was five minutes to nine. And if he comes early, it's nine. If he comes late, it's 9.30. So we usually just have her in her wheelchair about nine o'clock to make sure that she's ready for the bus. But it was super early. So anyway, what I wanted to tell you about the purpose of this whole video is the fact that Mike has had a urinary tract infection. She's already been on a one antibiotic, finished that one, did another sample, and then she was on this really strong medication. What's it called? Ciprofloxacin. Yeah, that word. They call it Zipro for short. Cipro. Cipro, they call it for short. So she has just finished that. We're going to take another urinalysis 72 hours later. Right now we are at 24 hours, so we will take another one. But Micah hasn't had a, an, a, a UTI for years. You've been here how long? Five years. Okay, has she ever had one? Mm -mm. Hasn't had one in over five years. So it's been like forever and ever, and now she's had two right in a row. So we don't know what's going on. I am pretty sure that the girls really take good care of Micah in cleaning her up. But we're going to uh, investigate a little more, see if we can put some more uh, things in place, maybe to ensure that. I don't know if it's just her age. But what I was going to tell you about, I titled this video, A Seizure or a Urinary Tract Infection. Before she took the first antibiotic one night, it was, I think, on a Saturday night, and Micah was kind of making this noise, and we're like, Micah, what's the matter? And she, she goes like this. This is toilet in sign language, and she'll just move her hand like this to say, take me to the bathroom. So I take her to the bathroom, take her to her room, and she looked like she was going to have a seizure. Her lips start shaking, and her hands start shaking, and I was really worried about her, and I was like, Oh no, you're, you're not about to do that, are you? And then it went away. And a few days later, we ended up discovering that she had a urinary tract infection. It's really, really hard to figure out what is going on with Micah because her beginning symptoms were she just was tired. Well, you know, sometimes she does that. It's not real often, but if it's just for a few days, you know, we just think she's not feeling so well. What are the symptoms you would say? For Micah? Um, well, she's not as giggly, that's for sure. Very lethargic. Um, she will kind of point down there sometimes in her um, private area like she's hurting. So I actually ask her if she's itchy or if she burns anymore just to make sure that we're not going back to the UTI. But even with that, she's kind of hit and miss? It's hit and miss, and a lot of times she'll say yes, and she, uh, sometimes she doesn't mean yes, you know? Sometimes she'll say no, and she doesn't mean no. She doesn't, if you ask her if she's in pain, she'll say no, but you kind of know she is, so... She has a high pain tolerance, always has. So I, I kind of, I can tell when she's not telling me the truth. <laughs> she'll start giggling at me, and then I'll re-ask the question, and... Then she'll tell me the truth normally. So by the time she really has something that's big and needs an antibiotic, it takes us a while to figure it out. So by the time she needs a medicine, sometimes it's an emergency. It felt like an emergency when we gave her the first antibiotic for this. And then we gave it to her and she seemed better for two, three days. Then a CNA comes and she says, you know, Mike is not voiding like she normally does. Is that, you know, something new? And I said, well, nobody else has said anything about it. And I don't take her to the bathroom enough to know what's going on. I depend on the CNAs. Their job is so crucial in taking care of Micah and knowing about changes. That's why a consistent staff is really, really important with Micah so that they know what's going on. So we do our best to write notebooks and try to communicate with each other. So I went back to some of the CNAs that had been here recently before that visit 
And they went, oh yeah, I've noticed that Micah hasn't been, um, hasn't been voiding as much as normal. And I said, well, you need to write it in the notebook. You need to make sure you come tell me because we have a problem. So the whole thing has felt like an emergency with Micah, just um, above and beyond. She's had a, a low-grade fever. Then we discovered she wasn't outputting as much, was lethargic. And then we were asking her questions, you know, these other questions that Deb was talking about. Is there anything else that we noticed that we could tell that something was wrong with Micah? I think she was just really tired. She wasn't herself. She wasn't her giggly, normal self. There was one morning when a CNA came. This was after the first antibiotic. And she said that Micah just was, I, well, I could hear her in the other room, and she was repeating herself to Micah. And I knew that Micah was having a slow response to her. So I came in and I said, you know, sometimes Micah's like that. So we talked about it. Well, then I discovered that Micah it was not responding, you know, like when she's on the bed and they say, you know, Micah lift up because they're going to they're gonna change her brief. They were saying it multiple times before Micah would actually raise up for them. She was not as stable when they would uh, walk her. So she was a little unstable, but those things happen if Micah has had a seizure. So when I had this conversation with the CNA last week, I said, well, maybe Micah had a seizure. That's the cat running across the floor. Maybe Micah had a seizure during the night, and so it's causing all of her responses to be slow. And then it dawned on me, no, 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 this is probably not a seizure. This is... Probably the urinary tract infection is not gone. So Mike has had some real, um, to me, they've been extreme symptoms of having the UTI because it has taken us so long to figure out what is wrong with Micah. So being the voice of someone else and trying to figure out what is wrong with them and staying on top of stuff is a big responsibility. And I just wanted to share that with you so that you could see kind of what happens with Micah when something is wrong. I don't know if I explained myself well at all. It seems like we've been all over the place on this video. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. You have yourself a wonderful day. I will talk to you soon. I will look to the hills from whence cometh my help, and my help cometh from the Lord. Bye-bye. Here is the Bye -bye. big yellow school bus. They are so early that Deb did not have Micah's lunch completed. So she was running up the driveway, and I didn't get that part on camera, but I can hear Micah laughing all the way from the house to the bus. I can hear her laughing. And here goes Deb taking Micah her lunch. And here is Teddy. We are dog-sitting Teddy. And I don't care how many times we take him out, he uses the bathroom in the house, and he poops in the house. Teddy, what's the matter with you? Teddy. Teddy, say hi. Say hi, Teddy. Okay, so in our mad dash to get Micah out on the bus, the cat has made a mad dash out, out the house. Do you remember how scared this little kitty was to get outside and look at him now? He just laying in the grass, he's so happy. He figured out there were bugs outside and he loves to run out in the front yard and chase the bugs. Tarzan is mama's baby. Tarzan. Tarzan.